You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. The Lexington Legends are just a few days out from the first pitch of the season. Anna caught up with two former Kentucky players who are back in Lexington ready to suit up for their new team. What's it like being back in Lexington and have you kind of taken it upon yourself to be like a tour guide for uh, some of the new guys? I mean, I haven't met too many of the guys yet. You know, we just showed up, what, two days ago? Yeah, I showed up like two days ago, so I haven't had a chance. But being back in Lexington, it's definitely like with COVID and it's been a couple years since I've been back. It's a little it's a little different than what I remember it, but it's still still a very cool place. Yeah, it's it's awesome to be back. Uh, it's it's cool to reconnect with people, to see old friends and familiar faces, uh, see all the changes that happen on campus. I mean, it's it's changed a bunch since I was here, what five years ago. Well, it's kind of weird because we met in Australia and we were we were roommates, <laughs> and so I rocked up to the house and he's got a UK shirt on. I was like, is, is this a joke? He's like, <laughs> someone pranking me or something. I was like, did you go to UK? He was like, yeah. Kind of like. Why would you even ask me that? Um, but yeah, and that, so that's how we got connected in Australia, uh, which was just so bizarre that you got to travel that far to, to meet someone that was right in your backyard, kind of. First thing we talked about was just people that we knew in common. Uh, Sean Jelly um, was the main one, really. Uh, and just kind of catching up on me asking him how his experience was, him asking how mine was, because we had different head coaches. Um, basically stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was... Pretty much it. Just I remember looking. I was like, Dustin Beggs. That name sounds familiar. I don't really know him. And then he's like, You go to UK? I was like, <laughs> That's why I know you. That yeah, makes like, sense. <laughs> Matt May at UK does a great job with the social media, and he posts like, obviously, when you do good things, he posts about you. Dustin does a lot of good things, so <laughs> see him on quite a bit. What's it like facing other Kentucky guys um, on other teams in the minor league? Trey Dawson was the shortstop when I played at UK in '18. We were both drafted that year. I remember playing him like when we were in short season together, that was, uh, I think that was the only UK guy I really actually played against, like actually was on the field with, because when I played Zach Thompson, he wasn't, I wasn't playing that day, but he, uh, it's, it's a different, it's a different experience, because when you see him, it's like he had so many memories and the differences that are happening now, you know, minor league baseball players all have that kind of connection as well. So it's, it's a, it's a cool dynamic. Yeah, and I don't know if I've faced any uh, UK hitters, but I played, a uh, game against Zach Brown uh, when we were in AAA and it's always just cool to, to see old friends and uh, get to relive memories that you guys had and and uh, kind of catch up on their lives and see how they've been doing and uh, uh, ZB was one of my really good friends so it's uh, it was always nice to see those people. You just got into town this past weekend, what are the first things on your checklist to kind of get out of the way to get ready for the season? Uh, well, I love North Limestone Donuts. Like those square glazed donuts they have, or the, I, everyone asked me, what would be your last meal? It would be a dozen square glazed donuts from North Limestone. So I had got back in January, so that was one of the first things I did. But that, that's probably top of my list. Yeah, I'd say definitely North Lime. Uh, I got to go to Tolly Ho at some point. Definitely need to go there. Uh, Malone's, I feel like, is also a Lexington staple. I feel like I need to, <laughs> to head over there, Malone's and Drake's. And, um, but yeah, it's been cool to to kind of go back and relive places that you were and uh, yeah, I love it. You had a special reason uh, that was part of you coming back to Lexington, what was that? Uh, well, I actually am currently in, well, I just finished my first semester of senior year. I'll graduate in December, so kind of was, that was top of the agenda <laughs> was to finish school, got to get that done eventually. I actually stepped away from baseball in October. Like I, I've, like I mentioned the school thing, that was, that was the prime thing I had to get done. and. You know, it just kind of worked out perfectly that the legends called and I never thought I'd get a chance to play again because, you know, everyone gets told their career is done someday. Uh, for me personally, it's just being being able to actually end my career on the field as opposed to getting a call because of some pandemic and, you know, having a chance to actually play again. Yeah, just the opportunity to be able to play again, to put on a jersey, um, that's always a blessing. So uh, being able to do that, especially in Lexington, a, a place that I spend a lot of time is, is always cool. Um, and really just going into the season hoping to get picked up, hoping to just play at the highest level I can, help the team win, um, make a lot of good friends and memories along the way, and uh, just kind of see where life takes me. 
Great to catch up with those guys again. Up next, we're continuing our graduation spotlight. We're going to be talking to Colin Goodfellow, who just received his nursing degree. That's next on BBN Tonight.